Hi guys, the Metal Maniac back again. Um, so this video is a bit interesting. Um, so I actually had a question asked in, in the comments of one of my videos. What you know, what really defines death metal? Uh, what are there, what are the um, specifics? Um, and you know, I answered the um, a brief sort of summary. Um, but then that got me thinking. Um, what that got me thinking on a path of like you know death metal albums, whatever. And then at one point, one, one thought um, sprung to mind. Uh, and it's kind of the topic of this video. What are, in my opinion, five death metal albums that, um, that everyone needs to know? Not necessarily, you know, the most pop, most five popular, not necessarily my top, you know, my top, not my top five, my, uh, um, my, not necessarily my my five favorite, and not necessarily the most groundbreaking um, death metal albums. Just five that I think that I, in my opinion, are are you know you know not are essential that uh, um, you should listen to at least once. Um. Anyway, so yeah, this is the uh, in my opinion uh, top, uh, not top five, just five death metal albums you need to know. Um. So first off is. Where did I put? Oh, there's some. Oil. I had some on the counter here. Hold on. Uh, first off, is really the only one that I have any extreme connection connection with, and that is uh, the Death Album Three by Death Clock. This is actually the first death metal album I ever listened to, so uh, it does hold a special place in my heart. Um, and yes, it is an album from a fictional band from a TV show, but that doesn't matter. It's still a very, very good, very put, well put together melodic death metal album. <clears throat> so, um, there's not really a bad song on here. Um, yeah, I can, but I do kind of consider what um, Sky Hunter to be slightly lesser than the rest of the songs, but that doesn't make it a bad song. It's still a really good song. Just, it's still slightly, slightly lesser than the rest. Um, but you have some really fantastic songs on here, like Crush the Industry, Starve, Impeach God, Biological Warfare, my favorite, um, The Hammer, and then also my second favorite, Rejoin, which is the last song on here and is by far, Rejoin also is by far one of the best album closers of all time, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, just a really, really great death metal album, or I should say melodic death metal album. Um, oh, and also, if you're searching for this album um, on, like, Amazon or whatever, make sure you get the standard version, because the, um, where is it? Ah, the, uh, even though, even though you can get the, uh, um, deluxe edition, for whatever reason, the deluxe edition has, uh, the audio quality on the deluxe edition is very, very, um, it's just not that good compared to the standard version. Don't know why, but that's just how it is. Um, but yeah, just a really awesome album that you definitely should check out. Alright. Actually, why don't I just put this back? Um, just set it right here. Anyway. So, next up is actually a more recent album. Oh, that was 20, what, 2012, I believe. This one is 2017. Yeah, 2017. This is um, an album that's actually very unique, considering it's a, it's a death metal album, but it's also a concept album, which is very rare in death metal to have a concept album. Um, and it's very good. A very, one of the best concept albums I've ever listened to. You know, besides like Abigail by King Diamonds or something like that. But, uh, it, it tells a very good story. And actually a real story that happened in the 1800s over in Scotland. Um, about, um, these two brothers who were grave diggers who, um, at one point decided there would be more money in killing people and selling their bodies to, um, you know, medical facilities and stuff like that. Um, really gruesome, but very, inter uh, very interesting. Um, actually, um, if you buy the vinyl version, it comes with a poster, which is the cover art. It's a full-length, almost movie-type movie poster. So 
so it's very large. Um, but yeah, just a really amazing album. One of the best modern era death metal albums, and a very unique album because it is a concept album. Uh, death metal concept album. But yeah, definitely something to check out. Alright, next up is one that is very underrated and, un un uh, sorry, very underrated and underappreciated, and that is From Beyond by Massacre. Um, this is really the only good Massacre album. There were uh, two other ones. The second one isn't, you can't really consider the second one a death metal album, it's just something totally bizarre and weird. And then the third one is, is one that came out, I don't know, a few years ago that just has horrible production and it doesn't sound the same because, you know, the original vocalist left at that point and you need to get someone else and, you know, whatever. But this, this album right here is amazing. It has a, it has a very balanced mix of, uh, you know, a f you know, full-fledged old-school death metal in terms of, you know, just pure old-school death metal. Uh, combined with the more thrashy old school death metal, because it does have those really uh, almost uh, thrash metal type catchy guitar riffs um, in it, and then the vocals by Cam Lee are just some of the best death metal vocals you will ever hear. Um, also, uh, this is the um, and that's not remastered. What is it called again? Um, I don't know, this is a re-release, um, I don't think it's remastered, it's, they did take the audio from the original, you know, uh, uh, studio recording tapes, um, uh, and if you get the CD, you actually get, uh, bonus tracks, which are from an EP, um, I do have the vinyl version, but it does not come with the, uh, bonus tracks for some reason, even though it's the exact same release, just on vinyl, um, which I, I won't get out because I just a, have a huge pile of vinyl here and I don't want to, you know, knock anything over. Um, but yeah, just a, definitely uh, a one to check out. Um, especially if you like old school death metal and, and especially if you like the thrashy old school death metal. Alright. One, two, three, four. Um, hold on, I actually forgot to pick the Pick the fifth one. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, this will do. All right. All right. Next up is actually a uh, a well known classic, um, and that is "Altars of Madness" by Morbid Angel. Um, this is a, a re release. I think it's an anniversary edition, if I'm not mistaken. Um. Everything's the same. The audio is exactly how it how it was on the original. Um, maybe slightly cleaned up, but not too much. Um, and the uh, the only difference is one: the artwork has changed, which I actually don't like. This version of the artwork it looks too CGI esque. Um, and then the uh, only the only other difference is the fact that it has a bonus disc, which is basically a, a live show. Um, uh, audio, not visual. So it's a, it's a it's a CD, not a DVD, on um, the uh, bonus disc. Um, the only downside to getting this, the only downside, because I know they're they're if you're very picky, you won't like the artwork, or I don't know if if, if it's just me, but uh, the only downside is the fact that it does not come with a lyric sheet, even though there's a spot for one. Um, you'll have to get the vinyl for that. Um, but that's kind of typical of uh, um. Albums released under uh, uh, Earache Records. Um, they just started doing that a few years ago, which is very annoying. You're going to have to buy the vinyl to get the lyrics, but eh, what can you do? Um, but yeah, just a really amazing death metal album. Um, one of the um, earliest examples of uh, um, a death metal album becoming a classic almost instantly. Or almost overnight. Um, but yeah. Next up is next up is uh eaten back to life by cannibal corpse um definitely um even though it's a good album it's not a um out of the four major death metal bands or, or more specifically the four major old school death metal bands you know cannibal corpse death 
Obituary, and Morbid Angel. This is probably the weakest of their debut al of the debut albums, but it's still a great album. It's just you know as a debut compared to the other three, it's you know slightly lesser, but it's still a great album. Um, in in my opinion, it's really the only good Chris Bonds era album. He actually sounds really good on this album as opposed to the other three, which he where he sounds like he just doesn't care and isn't giving his uh, uh best performance. Um. But yeah, a really great album. Uh, if you're a fan of old school death metal, definitely check it out. Eaten Back to Life by Cannibal Corpse. Um, and finally, probably the most well-known death metal album ever, and that is um, Scream Bloody Gore by Death. Uh, I do have the uh, vinyl version. Again, it's in a pile of vinyl, so I don't want to knock. I don't want to try to get out and knock anything over. Um, uh, definitely the. The quintessential death metal album to listen to. Um, it's basically flawless. I don't. I don't really have any issue with it whatsoever. Um, in my review, I gave it a ten out of ten. Um, but yeah, just perfection. And uh, the uh, and that's um, the last thing I have on the list of uh, five death metal albums you should know. Um. So that's about it for this video, uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next time.